Our trouble, buddy. Uh, yeah. Schneids. I cleaned the place up after hours. Yeah! Woo! Thank you, man. That's, that's fantastic. I really appreciate it. I'll, I'll buy you beer sometime. What about now? I bet you can't finish that in five seconds. Oh, geez, Mary, you nicked me. Bad snake. Go to your timeout bag. That's actually quite nice, Mary. Oh, yeah. So, what can we do for you today, mister? Well, I've actually come here to pitch you guys. Ooh. Intrigued. Mm, yes, go on. And the name of the show is Mike Weaver's Melting Pot. <sighs> we thought about a host for the yeah. show. Well, uh, I would host the program. It's yeah, yeah. We love you as our comic relief, so oh, yeah. we're gonna go ahead and soft pass on you right now. Well, I'm just looking for a little hell of a with Mike Weaver. <laughs> hey, Safari. Hey, Mike. Hey, buddy. Hey, Mike. Hey. So I was thinking we should probably just forget about the last time we saw each other. I think so too, eh? I was just blowing some steam off there and oh. things got a little carried away. <laughs> and I'd eaten too many flax seeds and was suffering from some pretty dangerous dehydration, as you saw. Oh, it did look dangerous. Oh, it was, eh? It's lucky you guys found me, actually. Hey, who was that guy you were with? Oh, well, that guy? Uh, he was, uh... Mr. Heavy Petting! And resident funny man, Mike Weaver! Hey, hey, all right. Yeah. Let's not forget our favorite animal expert and my favorite bear. The knowledgeable Safari Steve! A visit from the network to what do we owe this honor? Well, you're just the two gentlemen that we came here to see. Mm-hmm. Oh. We have something to tell you. Is it about Mike Weaver's melting pot? What's that? Hmm? You know, the, the show I pitched here, remember? It was the, the hard-hitting, um, gritty, investigative journalism. Is it the one where you dress up or oh, something? Oh, the dress up one. No, 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 I go undercover. So undercover. Right, right, no, this is not about that at all. No, <laughs> there's a new mandate from the network, okay? We want to age down and urbanize. And cooking shows are so hot so right hot. now, okay? So we want you to incorporate some urban cooking segments into the show. But within the context of the pet world. Oh yeah, pets test through the roof, okay? In the outer and inner city. Ooh, inner city blues. Mix me wanna holla. Throw up your hands. Oh yeah. Put it in the hopper. Mm -hmm. Then add pets and grooming and urban and funny. <laughs> I totally get where you're going, guys. Here he is. I got a bunch of ideas. Guys, I uh, actually don't want to do that. But we want you to think about it. I did, mm -hmm. and I, I don't. But we want you to still keep thinking about it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh, by the way, guys, we've had a security breach, okay? Mm. Apparently, some baddie is running around, getting drunk, breaking into places, and cleaning them. Yeah, this very studio fell victim to it last Friday night. So, keep your tits about you. <laughs> I mean, you're wits. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good one. And I'm not even into that. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. And keep us laughing. And informed. <laughs> oh, two points. Oh, look at that. Pull in one. <laughs> this will be great, eh? We can cook a huge supper and eat it at a big, long table. We'll have dogs and cats, birds, maybe a Komodo dragon. And maybe I'll get like a dozen. Cleaners have keys, don't they, Schneiz? Hey, Gingerbread, how you doing? Left my keys at home, brah. Go get your beaver in a twist. Due respect, Schneiz, that's BS. You get lit up, you break into places, you clean them. You're a common criminal. Yeah! Woo! Red's on to me! Regular Mike Hammer! 
You don't understand, man. It's not like that. I never steal anything. I do it for the joy, the fulfillment that comes with cleaning something that no one expects to be clean, man. I'm paying it forward. Paying it forward? Paying it forward, Red. I tell you what, you see firsthand the good I do, you'll get behind this. Why don't you come with tonight on a little ride along? Ride along? Man, you know why? Because karma's on my side, baby. Schneids can't lie to you, gingerbread. You're too straight a shooter. When I was 16, my parents went to a renaissance fair in England, so I threw a party. But the thing got out of hand, and we damn near wrecked the house. When my folks came back, my dad whipped my ass with a loot until it begged for mercy. My ass. But he didn't just stop there, Red. He whipped all my friends' asses with loots. He went through his whole collection, ass after ass after ass after young ass. I can still taste the stench. From then on, whenever we had a party, we'd get blasted as ever, but we'd never dance or screw. We'd clean the house from top to bottom. So you see, I associate partying with cleaning, man. It's just the way I'm wired. And if that's a crime, then so be it. Mom, I'm not gonna tell anyone, Schneids. But you gotta start the healing. I think you should look into CAA. CAA. Cleaning Alcoholics Anonymous. I'll look into it, Rat. Thanks for listening. It's no worries. Well, 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 if it isn't Mr. Heavy Petting. And funny man. Hello. I guess reality television isn't dead. Well, look what we found in the surveillance camera. Mm. I guess somebody's gonna be doing those cooking segments after Urban all. Urban cooking. Urban cooking With segments. With pets. Mm -hmm. We're going to lunch. Yeah. Very expensive lunch. Yo, what's up, America? What's up? Damn, we got some vittles on the table, man. Because we be cooking with a full the clip. Full clip. That's right, yo, line, man. Time to get your grub on, America. Yeah, damn, because we got to feed the animals, and we be animals, and all. Mike, what are you doing? Hey, get back here. <laughs>